Ayo, welcome back to Stranded Deep. I am Mino, and where we left off, we were getting ready to hunt. Uh, however, in retrospect, I think I brought a knife to a gunfight because I had zero refined spears. There were two in the camp back over here. I took those. Um, I don't think that's going to be enough for us. So, slight change of plans. I don't want to go back and forth. Now, I went ahead and took the three drinking uh, bottles, the, the w empty water bottles that were here. We'll use those for our farm back home. But for now, I am going to go collect some of these wood containers. Our only hope to make refined spears right now is going to be finding leather. Uh, we <laughs> did not bring any of that either, uh, but uh, hopefully some of these wood containers will have that. So on to this ship. That is where all of the uh, wood containers on this island will be found. Uh, not necessarily all of them, but guaranteed a large stash of them. So we're going to run through here just as quick as we can and see if we can find any with leather and take a few of these so we'll have some sorting spots when we get back. Uh, these doors that are broken can be broken you wax and you're done all right so let's see what we can find what do we have oh immediately two leather oh and two more lanterns fantastic uh, save that for later okay we are off to a great start let's see there should be more yep there's another one down there two more leather fantastic let's go ahead and shove the leather back in here we know we're keeping the lanterns, and we will just take you. Great. Uh, what is in here? Can we open it? Nope. Well, there we go. Problem solved. Uh, see another one down there. What is in here? Some rations. I can use you later. Yeah, I'm collecting all of these... Uh, vehicle parts. I probably have more than enough already, but, uh, habits and all. I do like my loot. Uh, looks like we have room for one more. Of course, you know what'll happen is we'll find, yeah, <laughs> more than one at a time. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, no... There are rations in one of these. Let's see if we can do some quick reorganizing here. Uh, that one is full of good stuff. Okay, the rations there. We'll put you in there. You're full. Anything duplicate? Yep. I think I saw you in there, you yeah. know. There we go. Okay, that should give us enough room take these. Perfect. Let's go drop these off real quick and then we will uh, come back and see if we can find a few more. Uh, we got four leather already just on quick glance which is fantastic because that means we should have everything else we need to have four more refined spears uh, giving us six total. If I can get a couple more so I can have two stacks I will be more than comfortable going out and slaughtering every animal on this island. I won't hurt the cute ones. Uh, you can. Uh, obviously they give you meat and rawhide, which is what we're after. But they are cute. Uh, the large ones will also give me that, and uh, they're aggressive. So I don't mind so much taking them out. And I don't like seeing video game creatures sad, so <laughs> forgive my weakness. Let's take you so we can stack you a little cleaner. There, perfect. What do we have here? Four. Great. Alright. Yeah, it's just one in the afternoon. We have time to do another run before it starts getting dark. These boats will get very dark. I do have some lanterns I can take, but if we can finish up before that happens, all the better.
I'm starting to get a heavy supply of rations too, so I don't mind burning this to the last minute and just using rations for food tonight. Make things easier. Ooh, take that. Uh, we do not need another label maker, however. I believe there is a bilge somewhere. Yep, here we go. Should be several in here. Uh, kind of crappy, but... Oh, there's some barrels. Ooh, and more barrels. Might need to extend our boat while we're here, too. Nothing wrong with two birds. I uh, will take it. There. Can I reach that one? Haha. -ha. Yep, that was it. Not enough room. Okay, <laughs> looks like we are full again. Time to drop back off. Okay, now that we're back, let's drop them off. Yeah, there was my problem. Okay. I've put some of these away already. I did a little cleaning up in between episodes. I uh, also went back and got the last two lanterns that I could find out of that uh, piggy pig cave. He was still not there, so I'm not quite sure where that little fella has run off to. Uh, I certainly don't trust it. Okay, those were the ones we had. Yeah, okay. So what do we have here? Ah, oh, one more leather. That gives us... Looks like one shy of uh, ideal. There are a few more crates, though, at the bottom of this thing. I'm going to go see what we can find. Bridge. There's more cloth there. We'll have to do some sorting in those crates when we get back, but I can do that off camera. Just to save some time. Go. Yeah, in here. Here, a little hammer. That'll be useful later. What else do we have? Is that it? Oh, don't tell me that's it. Oh, one more, and one last piece of leather, and a little bit of dancing. Fantastic. Okay. Well, it's not extra, but it should make us exactly two stacks of of uh, refined spears by the time we're done. Well, let's head on back. Okay, we are now back here. Uh, looks like we're gonna need a few sticks to make some refined spears. Let's see what all we're gonna need. I know sticks. And where are you? Where are you? There we are. Uh, we'll need a crude spear, a stone tool, and leather. Alright. And the crude spear, very simply, a stick. So let's go find us some sticks. I'm not sure if there's any of that log left over. Doesn't look like it. There were a few here. Yeah. Since these are ones that I can make planks out of, I not super happy about having to use these, but if I have to chop down a tree for more later, I do. There we go. Okay, so we have our eight sticks. Yep. Let's make our eight crude spears, I believe, uh, there's going to be two extra, but we can always shove those in the ground and use them for fishing spears later. Okay. Should do it. One and two. Alright. So that'll be enough for that. Now stone tools. Where are 
there's some rocks over here. Yep. Two, five, six. Great. There's our six stone tools. Now, as you can see, it is getting dark. Let's throw out one of these lanterns. Nah, let's throw out a couple of them. There we go. Now we can see what we're doing. And let's grab those six leather that we found. full set. Alright, so now we are ready to hunt without having to go back home. Uh, looks like we desperately need some water and I will have to pick more of these sooner than later. Yeah. And I believe we have one cod left. I had to eat the crab overnight before I did my cleanup. So this is going to be our last bit of food as well. I did notice some cloth on the uh, on the ship. I think I want to pick that up and make a smoker out of this fire pit before we get too far into hunting. Once you skin an animal, you know the the, the meat will start to spoil. Uh, the rawhide will be fine, but I don't want to waste the meat, and cooked meat will eventually go bad. Uh, smoke meat's the only way to make it more permanent. So I want to build a smoker so we don't waste all of these animals we are about to kill. <laughs> uh, okay, as soon as this food is done, I am going to take a nap. So we will pause it here real quick and resume in the morning when we uh, can get a fresh start. Okay, it is early, early the next morning, 5 a.m. Looks like we have a few minutes until daybreak. So let's take advantage of that and go ahead and build that smoker. I had brought a couple of extra pieces of cloth, but I know we got at least one from our little stash in the boat. I believe there's a few more little sections of the boat to check out, but we have what we need for now, so I'm not in the biggest rush to do that. Uh, we are now out of food. Uh, this is where I was talking about using the ration to get the day started. And uh, after that, we need to hunt. So let's figure out what it takes for a smoker here. Uh, one lashing. There was a lashing, a few of them actually, back over here at this camp. So I'm going to run over here and snag that. It's hard to find in the dark. Uh, yep, there they were. Run back over here to our fire pit. And that should be everything we need. Right? Fantastic. Good to go. Uh, we're going to need some more wood for the fire. But one stack should do it. We're not uh, going to be cooking a whole lot. There's not much else we're going to need that for. We'll save the rest uh, as logs so that we can use them for planks. Uh, there's a bit of plank furniture back at the house I wanted to build and definitely make use of that. Let's see. Let's get us our rations so we can start our day. You're not going to need the knife immediately. We will need that when we get back. So just leave that here. We should be set. Okay, it is time to go hunting. Now there was a piggy pig back over here. 
I don't know if he's gone back to his house or not. If I remember right, it's just beyond this little spot. Bit of stamina here. Because you never know. Now, I'm not sure. He had disappeared. I, he might have fallen off of one of these. He didn't bug me during the night. So I'm assuming if he fell, he fell on the other side. Which, that's fine. There was a giant crab and another big pig down there. I'd like to get both of them. Yeah, it looks like he is still not home, so... We're going to try to find a way down to the other side. Um, I seem to remember down at the far end here, there was a little shortcut that cut across. Still kind of learning my way around the place. Yeah, right over here. Which will mean Mr. Pig. There he is. Okay, this could not have gone much better because Mr. Pig won't come into the water. He just kind of goes crazy there on the beach if you attack him from the water. As a note, thrown spears do a lot more damage than just normal jabs, but normal jabs, you have to get up close and personal. Sorry, big guy. And you can always recover your spears, so that's why I wanted more than one. Come on, buddy. Ah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that was an uncomfortable shot, wasn't it? Oh, now. Now you're trying to swim? This is honestly the first time I've ever seen a hog swim. Wow. He, well, he's not really swimming. I guess the water's shallow enough that he just kind of went over there. Come on. Come on, I'll just poke you. <laughs> there we go. Alright, fantastic. Let's get our spears back, because we definitely want those. And we need to put those up so we can drag him. I think there was another... Yeah. I want that spear to come with me, Mr. Pig. All right, we're going to keep this guy. Drag him back home, and then we'll come on back and get the other one that's over here. Okay. Number one. Now we'll take this little ocean sideway just in case I miss something and get back to that other spot where we can uh, get giant pig number two. Uh, I saw from that one kill my hunting went up quite significantly. That's great news. I was unaware that the giant pigs gave you that much experience but if that's the case we're not going to have to take out many of these to get to where we need to be alright here's the little piggy pigs oh giant crab over here him we can take and just risk the damage hey buddy there is a way to get them right in the eye that does a whole lot more damage. But it's tricky, and uh, I'm lazy. So I find it much easier just to do that. Okay, so we're going to want to keep you. We're going to go ahead and take you with us. I want to put you over here and try to make a little train, because I know I'm going to have to get this guy, too. OK. 
Okay, you just stay put. Now I saw this guy staring me down. There he is. Yep. Nice. That guy went a lot easier. All right, now we can actually look around this camp for a second. Uh, looks like a little more cloth, some palm, brick scrap. That's nice. Uh, another lantern. Ooh, a machete. Not sure I've ever had a machete. Well, it has a durability, and I've never had one, so we're going to save that for later. That might be a special use thing. Uh, oh, we have another crate over here. Ah, nothing special. Just take it to have it. Ah, let's see. Ah, some wood planks. Oh, of course, a piece of leather. In fact, let's go ahead and take those. That is kind of what we are here for. Uh, the idea is that we're going to have to build about 25 to 30 refined spears along with a spear gun and some spear gun arrows. Uh, this is for fighting the big bad bosses. So, ooh, another empty water bottle. Fantastic. Hammer. Yeah, everything else I think we're going to leave for now. But note to self, they are there. Alright, let's take some meat back. Okay, now that we have those three back, looks like our hunting didn't go up a ton on those, but that's fine. We're doing all right. We only need to get, like, one more bar. Two would be great, but one more bar will do the trick. Uh, let's get a little water while we're here. Uh, that always weirds me out. Every giant hog does that, and it always weirds me out. So, <laughs> if it weirds you out, you might as well get used to it because it'll do it. We're going to go back now. Uh, there were a couple of giant crab I remember seeing by a lagoon over here somewhere. I want to go ahead and get them while we're getting things. So let's turn, let's see, it was a uh, little path was somewhere over here. There it is. Okay, so that leads to Play, it looks like. Hang on. Before we go scooting over there. Yep. Okay, so this island has a ton of clay. This could very easily change what I was thinking of doing at my home base. Uh, I'm not sure what the end game means, but it probably means you're not going to go back to your island house, if I had to guess, so... Yeah, might have to make use of that before we leave, just so that we can see it. All right, now somewhere over here, I recall giant crab. He was in a lagoon somewhere around here. Oh, I like that. He's not here, but I like that. Uh, probably down in there. This place is a small maze of oases, and there's so many materials around. I'm trying to leave some of these, like these buoy balls and the clay, uh, just mainly as markers until I get more used to the layout and not uh, prone to taking that left turn at Albuquerque.
let's see what we have over here. Is this the one I got? I swear there was another one. Don't worry, little guy. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not saying I won't stab a few of your little friends here. There he is. I knew you were around here somewhere. Hey, buddy. Alright. Come here. Fantastic. All right. Now that I'm completely... Oh, 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 what? That, uh, Marlin. Well, okay. <laughs> that almost scared the poop out of me. <laughs> I'm glad that is just a Marlin. Okay, thought he was being evil here. Okay, I am completely turned around. Let me find my way out of here. See, that's the little sandbar. Okay, so that should mean... Yeah, there's going to be our path home right up here. take this way around to make sure we didn't lose anything. So I think that's all of the big animals I recalled. That'll be just fine. It's a pretty good catch and uh, we were able to get some refined spears out of just the leather that we found here, uh, which is fantastic because that's the primary goal of these hunting trips other than uh, building up that skill and uh, we've got plenty of food here to start smoking so let's just make an evening out of uh, prepping the food and getting the raw hides stored back uh, we'll throw a few logs on the boat and tomorrow morning we can start making our return trip let's throw you down here And we left our knife right there. All right, let's drop these two crates. Sort that out later. Yeah, I'm going to keep you right there. We're not getting rid of you. Uh, here's the four leather we found. Definitely want to store that back. And there were only three empty water bottles, so yep, got a spot for you right there. Great. Let's get to skinning. Okay, first we'll take out the giant crab. They only give you two meat apiece, and we've got room for five on the smoker. So we can go ahead and take care of both of these guys and still have a little room to spare. All right, let's go ahead and put that on the smoker. Alright, now when you skin giant hogs, you're going to get the rawhide first. Um, usually I believe it's four that you'll get, uh, then you start getting the meat. And just same rules, as long as you don't finish skinning it, for some reason it's still not decaying. So we're just going to leave the rest of these to sit here, and we'll start hitting up the rest of that meat on round two. I can see instead of a medium, this is uh, one of the few animals that give you a large meat, which that is phenomenal. Uh, let's store these rawhide back. We'll process those into leather when we get home. Start us up a fire. There we go. We are still doing okay. We have enough fibrous leaves to get through the night. 
keep our water supply up, and probably have a couple of extra for our return trip. So I think we are doing quite all right. I am going to finish preparing these uh, little buddies over here, uh, keep myself fed, and then stock up the boat with a couple more logs. We'll pick it up on the next episode when we head back home, make use of some of the things that we got, and make plans to uh, visit another island or two while we're waiting on our little friends to show back up, which usually takes about five to seven days. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. We'll talk to you soon.